I have gone and picked up a topper, a topper for the truck, and I have an idea for it. This is the first time you guys have actually gotten a chance to see it. It's just a standard shell. I picked it up for a really darn good price. I'm thinking camping, solo truck camping, because why not? But it's got, needs some modifications. I've got one thing done to it already, which is, is kind of neat, but it's, it's nothing fancy. But I went and picked up some lights. LED lights, $25 online, Amazon. I'll link them in the description down below if you guys are interested. But it comes with eight LED lights, a switch, and a little bit of wiring. And my son and I actually spent some time and actually put it together. It's not bad, 25 bucks. I mean, what the hell? But I'll, I'll link that down below if you guys are interested. It's kind of nice. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it the other day, which is cool, but kind of neat. But this topper is super, super unique all in itself. I've never seen any kind of uh, topper with a, a rack built into it. We always see the racks on top of them. That's nothing big. You got a couple racks, you can throw luggage up there, you can throw kayak up there or whatever. But I've never seen one with a rack on the inside. So this rack has got multi-purpose in it. It's, it's nuts, it's absolutely insane. Two push button handle. And it actually comes out of the top itself. Look at that, that is absolutely bonkers. Now, something that's really nice that you guys, these guys actually thought of, it's, it's sectional divided. It's got three nice sections. It's got a section clear up at the very top if you really need it to be. But this is a gun rack. A gun rack? Holy cow, that's game changing. So it's got all the room in the world. So I'm gonna be able to store a whole bunch of stuff in here for camping. I'll be able to store stuff up here for hunting. Be able to put a shotgun, muzzle loader. And during those off seasons, yeah, they're gonna be used for fishing poles. I thought that was pretty damn neat. This thing works so well, it's so easy. It slides on a couple bearings on the top of it. There's about, uh, I think there's four bearings on this thing all together, six bearings on this all together, stops and locks. So I'll be able to just push it right back up into place. That is so cool. Really looking forward to filling that up with a bunch of camping stuff this year. Fishing gear. I don't have to have it spread all over the inside of my truck or inside the cab like it is right now. But there's one more step that I have to take care of for the camping bit. Now you guys have all seen truck camping out there. It's not uncommon to see that. I mean, you look at Mav. Mav, Mav is absolutely killing it with the, the well living in his truck at this point. It's all truck camper camping and he's able to go anywhere he wants to in the country, right? I mean, I think right now he's in Colorado. So that's pretty, that's pretty dope. So the whole idea is solo truck camping pretty much anywhere so it's pretty neat hope you guys enjoyed if you do hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe right mm, down here down here hit the red button don't forget to hit the notifications bell i've got a lot of content that i'm going to be bringing to you guys all summer long in here fishing just having a good time so stick around guys we're gonna put this whole thing together today so I ran to the store and picked up some plywood. God knows how much that stuff costs. It's, it's ridiculous. What, 40? This 3 8 piece of plywood is 40, 40 bucks. Right now, it's, times are tough, but I have to measure up the, the, the length that I want for the bed. I'm gonna go, I believe, with a six foot section or 72 inches. And I'm gonna make the platform for the bed to be 24 inches, which is uh, my shoulder width laying flat is roughly 21 22 inches so that gives me a little bit of extra room on the sides All right, so we've got the bed platform is cut down. That was simple. Cut two feet off, cut two feet off. We got the we got that part cut down. I'm gonna actually take uh, two by two 
pieces of wood and cut those down so I can put them underneath of that. And I'll actually attach this platform to those two by twos. So it's up off the bed, two inches. That's really more for the ease of being able to take it in and out. I know I can take a piece of plywood in and out of there, but I wanna be able to take the whole thing out and still create, I, I wanna create an air gap underneath the bed from the plywood as well. So as it gets cooler later in the year, I create myself an air gap so it doesn't, you know, just that, that cool air, that cool metal doesn't go straight into the plywood, straight into the bedding. So that's the reason for the air gap with the two by twos, but I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut down and get those all figured out and set up and then I'll screw this whole thing together and that'll be the bed. All right, like I said, really simple design. Two by twos, plywood, set it up on top, screw it down, slides right in. Now really, I know this is, this is crude, this isn't anything fancy, and I don't have any storage underneath because it's only two inches tall, that's fine. This is gonna work exactly the way I need it to. Now, I've got an absolute load of space right here. And that's gonna give me some usability for other things. But right now, I'm just getting it set up for camping, simple camping, nothing fancy. I would like to make some storage on, the, on this side of the truck. And I do have some of the two by twos left over with some extra plywood. So I'm gonna take a look and see if I can make some sort of storage unit. If I can't, I guess I can't. We've got new merch out. We have got new t-shirts, new hats. Uh, we've got bucket hats. We've got sweatshirts, hoodies. Oh God, the list is just endless and endless and endless. Coffee cups, coffee mugs, tumblers, you name it. We've got it. Link is in the description below. I'll also make sure that I post at least a picture right about here or at the end, you'll see it as well. So make sure that you guys are, if you want to support the channel, that is honestly the best way to do it. And uh, as I take my, kind of my road towards monetization, this is really the best way to, to kind of support this channel. And uh, lots of outdoor stuff coming out. This summer is going to be, seems like it's going to be drug out. Appreciate it if you guys go check it out. All right, taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. It's taken me a couple hours to get this done. Uh, it's a very simple, very basic, down to earth, anybody can do a design. Two by twos, piece of plywood for the bed, two feet long by six feet long. The table, and our shelf, table, shelf, I, I guess whatever you want to call it. It's extremely crude. I'm not a carpenter at all, but it is going to work for what I need it to do. You know, put things on top of the shelf, while I'm, while I'm camping, maybe set my phone up, relax, watch videos, chill out, maybe a table for, for eating on, which I'm fine with. The tailgate, you know, I plan on being it kind of off the grid when I do this stuff. So uh, it's got a little bit of storage underneath of it. It's kind of locked into place by one of my clamps and I'm gonna go ahead and, and secure it a little bit further in a different way. Um, I haven't figured that out yet, but it doesn't move right now. Bed covering will be coming up on there. It's basic, lights work. I've got my overhead already started to be filled up. So, well, I'll look, I'll show you. So, well, you guys saw this before when it was empty. Um, I've got a bunch of my camping supplies are in here, cooking gear. Um, this is a cooling unit. It's called Get from Geek Tech. Geek Tech, Geek Tech, Geek Tech. 
okay. But it's a small cooling unit. It's rechargeable. You put an ice pack in the bottom and it takes the air from the bottom, throws it up into the fan, and then gives you cooling air. So if it's like just boiling hot, it's good for six hours of runtime. That, that thing there is pretty cool. Um, little grill itself, kind of a portable hickory wood chips grill. I got my little cooker here. Got a heater there for colder nights. This is a 12 volt, so I can plug it right into my cigarette lighter. 12 volt like oven, tons of ideas with this thing. It's a small 12 volt skillet. So if I want to cook fish on there right off the 12 volts, I can. And plates, I'll put some fishing gear in here today. I'm not doing it right now, but I'll put some fishing gear in here, um, a couple rods and some tackle, and uh, to be determined what's going up top. But this thing is, I, I love the idea of this. Tucks right up out of the way. It's easy storage. I've got a few things left inside the cab. Most of it's gonna be back here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's kind of a weird video, but uh, simple truck, camper, top, living condition thing. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.